So we are now going to leave Red Hill Lookout. Oh, the uh, fountains, I think they're called Captain Cook Fountains. Don't know if you can pick them up in the camera, but in the distance, like Burley Griffin. Yeah, it's on a timer, I think. So we're now going to leave Red Hill Lookout. And we're going to head down to um, cross over Lake Burley Griffin. And go to Mount Ainsley Lookout and view the city from north to south. So I'm just going to pull over here and wait till Christopher catches up. Here he comes. Right, the temperature has risen to 9 degrees. Yeah, there's the fountain. I hope it's still going when we cross over. Over Lake Burley Griffin. walk for you up there mister <clears throat> all right so what are we doing going straight ahead yep straight ahead right so we'll stop here Zone. Ooh, eight to four. Jesus. Most other states in Australia, it's uh, staggered. Eight to ten, I think, or eight to nine thirty or something, and two to four. But this is all day. So we better make sure we go nice and slow. Otherwise, we'll have Mr. Policeman on our trail. Sixty, I guess the school zone's finished. Uh, some embassies are around here, if I recall rightly. Yes, so the large flag pole with the flag on Australian flag on top of it is uh, Parliament House so we have an embassy here don't know what that is State Circle. I guess we could have gone straight up to Parliament House. I have ridden around it before, but that was an organised ride, and we had permission to go right around the inside the parking grounds and right around the Parliament House. I don't know if you could do it today. Lovely church. I have a regulation in Canberra there not allowed to uh, have skyscrapers
Not sure what the height is, but it's not very tall. Actually, I'm in the wrong lane here, dickhead. Not concentrating. Yep. You know, I should have, I could have, and should have turned left and gone up around and had a look at Parliament House, but never mind. This road that we're just leaving is called the State Circle. Wonder why? It goes right around the Parliament House. And now we're on Kings Avenue, it's called, according to the GPS. And the old Parliament House is up there to the left. But we want to get up and do the um, lookout, Mount Ainsley lookout, before it rains, if it's going to rain. Don't know yet. And the fountain is finished. And that building is called the Carillion, that one on the edge of the lake all by itself, that tall, called the Carillion. And just up here, where that white van is exiting to the left, is the National Police Memorial. You can see the multiple flags up there. It's a National Police Memorial. And the building straight ahead are Russell offices where the Australian Defence Force has its headquarters. And that large eagle on top of the pole was a gift from the United States government. It's an uh, American bald eagle. Oh no, the fountain's still going. And the lake is Lake Burley Griffin. I think I've mentioned that before. It's a man-made lake. They dammed the Malongolo River to form the lake. And that was part of the Walter Burley Griffin award-winning plan for the city of Canberra. So we're going to turn right. And when we turn right, we look straight ahead here. Take this exit to the left. The Australian War Memorial. And that domed building straight ahead is the National War Memorial, the Australian War Memorial. And we'll go and have a look at that later. The visit to Canberra would not be complete without going to the War Memorial. And the mountain behind it the hill, I suppose, called Mount Ainsley. And we're going to go up there, that's where we're heading. And on each side of this, this is now called Anzac Parade. On each side there are statues and memorabilia. It's the Australian Light Horse Memorial. And we have a Korean War Memorial, a Vietnam War Memorial. Yeah, Vietnam. Korean War and the National Army Memorial This is the exit here to the left to the War Memorial, but we won't do that just yet. I'm going to head up to Mount Ainsley. 
can go in there and get underground parking or you can turn left here as well for parking We're going to turn left in about uh, 750 metres. I'm going to turn the camera around and see if you can get a picture of Christopher following along behind. I don't know if you can. Right, here's the sign to Mount Ainsley. Point nine, call it three kilometres to the lookout. I guess they've put in that roundabout just there to slow traffic coming down the hill. Because last time I was here, I don't recall that roundabout being there. Nine hundred meters to the destination. It's telling us to slow down. Forty. Yeah, I guess uh, you would be getting hot, and you'd have to take your jacket up walking uphill. Four hundred meters to the top. And by the look of those trees swaying in the breeze, there's a bit of wind. 846 metres Mount Ainsley, so 800, 38, 24, about 2,500 feet, round figures. Alright, we are at the top of Mount Ainsley, we we'll have to park our bikes here somewhere. Okay, so we've reached our destination. I'm on the top of Mount Ainsley. We've left Red Hill, which is approximately over there, and ridden probably 20 minutes um, across Lake Burley Griffin, which is the lake you can see in front of us. And now we're on top of Mount Ainsley. And this is a view of the uh, north looking south over the city of Canberra. You can see the fountain going on, on the lake. That's the Captain Cook Memorial Fountain. And the avenue in front of us just here is Anzac Avenue. On either side of it is Memorial uh, to the Australian Defence Force, Army, Navy and Air. And at the top of the avenue, or the base of this mountain, just here, is the Australian War Memorial. And on the other side of the lake, the uh, white building is the old Parliament House. And immediately behind it, that large flagpole on the top of this small hill is the new Parliament House. So that's Canberra. And then over the large tower over here, is the uh, telecommunications tower and the National Arbitrarium, Arbitrarium, however you pronounce it, behind it. And then here, up at the top, is another telecommunications tower on the top of Mount Ainsley.